Hey there, I hope you're doing great. On today's tutorial, I wanna show you how you can remove the network lock from any device. In this case, I found this device. It was sitting around and it actually has the carrier lock. This is very unfortunate, but I'm gonna show you how you can remove it in only a few steps. But before I do that, I wanna show you that this device is indeed network lock. So I'm gonna remove the lid over here. I'm gonna remove this part and I'm gonna enter just this random SIM card. We're gonna test it after the method to see if it's working. So, all right, we're gonna wait for a few seconds to see if it, if it has any signal or it does anything. So let's wait just a little bit. Okay guys, so you can see nothing is happening over here. So we're gonna go to safeunlocks.com and do it ourselves. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna go to services and carry unlock the first one. Over here, we need to enter some really basic information so you don't have to worry about anything. And first, I'm gonna start with my name. Then I need to enter a valid email that I have access because it's very important. And we're just gonna show you in a second why. I need to select the device model. There's absolutely everything. If it's not here, just enter other model that's not listed, but I highly doubt it. Um, I'm gonna enter Motorola and I need to get my IMEI number. It's very simple. I'm gonna go to my dial and I need to press the following on the device. So let's go ahead and do that. I got my IMEI number over here. Got two, just choose the first one. And I need to enter it on the form. So let's go ahead and do that. So now all I have to do is to verify that all information is correct. I set the terms and conditions and press on the proceed button. Hey guys, at this point of the process, it's gonna be really straightforward. So all you have to do is to obtain this ID over here. There is a full tutorial down below where you can see or you can watch everything that you need to know about this process. It doesn't take longer than five minutes. So I'm not gonna show you this part of the process, otherwise it will be too long. So make sure to watch the tutorial, follow every step, and I'll see you again once I'm done with mine. Okay guys, I just finished doing it and all I have to do is to go into my inbox. So I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna wait for the ID. So we're gonna wait for that. Great, activation ID ready. We're gonna open this email. Hey there, Nick. We have received and confirmed your activation ID. Keep in mind this ID can only be used for the device you have selected. Well, that's perfect. So all I have to do is to copy this code. I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna go to the order and I'm gonna paste it over here. So if you can, as you can see, it says start order. I'm gonna press it. It says your order is now in progress. And all you have to do at this point is to wait for a few minutes uh, go back to your inbox and you will receive a confirmation confirming that your device is now free from the carrier so we're gonna wait for that confirmation all right Motorola device unlocked from carrier so let's open this email hey Nick great news your Motorola device was unlocked from the carrier enjoy all the benefit that comes with it Thank you for your support as you team. So this is great news, but uh, we're gonna take the same device that we just used before, this old Motorola device. So we're gonna turn it on. <laughs> it's so old, you have to enter the SIM card on the back. Anyway, I'm gonna enter the SIM card over here and then we're gonna wait if something happens. So let's wait. Uh, it's picking up some signal, that's good news. Let's wait if the 4G is activated. So let's wait for that. It shouldn't take long. And as you can see, everything is working. It's asking me to sign up to the network. It's completely normal. It's a prepaid uh, SIM card. This is great. After having this device locked for so long, I can now use it again. And it's all thanks to safeunlocks.com. If you guys wanna try it, just go ahead and type on your browser safeunlocks.com, follow the steps that I just showed you before, and you'll be able to use it once again. So I'll see you again on the next video, and I hope 
this tutorial was super helpful for you. See you.